If you're like me, you've been doing some research on birth control pinball machines for some time. You've probably been weighing the thought about getting the Ad Games Legends pinball entry level for 800 to 1400, depending on if you go with the 1080p or the 4K. Um, then you read about how those are kind of light and flimsy and you know lack a lot of the other features. So now you have to spend more money to buy the um, SSFDs, which is your surround sound force feedback. Uh, you know. Um, if you want to add a computer to it so you can get as many ROMs or actual tables, use VPX or um, what do you call it? You got VPX, VP9, uh, Pinball FX2, FX3, Pinball M. You want to use those things with a, one of those machines. Now you have to buy a computer kit, a computer for it, and all these other things. Um, you know, by the time you're done with that, you're you're spending two twenty five hundred to three grand for still an inferior product. Um, I wanted something that had all those features, all the force feedback, the solenoids that create the clicks when you're playing, uh, rumble, good sound, multi-display, uh, you know, LEDs. I wanted all these features, and for a lot of the top American ones, don't get me wrong, better quality, better machines, more future-proof. Um, you're probably going to end up putting more, a little bit more money into this one to make it come to that level of those. But still, this is still your best bang for your buck. I'm just gonna put it out there at the beginning of this. Now, that being said, very happy with this table to where I'm actually not sure I even wanna gut the computer anymore. Now the computer is something that I knew going into this buy that I'm probably gonna swap, at, least, at the very least, I might buy somebody else's drive that's unlocked, preset up to a point, um, and upgrade the graphics card. I've already upgraded the memory in this machine. The memory is very limited, eight gigabytes. But I will say, I have not experienced any performance issues. So I can play these games without performance issues, even the most intense games. The only tables I discovered issues with weren't really even that like technologically intensive. It was just bad design by the people who wanted made the table or the version that's downloaded. You know what I mean? It might have been improved and fixed upon since then. But I had a, I had a Metallica game that had a weird ball visual to it, and then. Uh, the VPX version of Circus Zoltaire has audio crackles. That's from the audio that they record and put onto the table itself. It has nothing to do with the hardware inside this machine. So just an FYI, this machine runs great. But this is a beautiful display. And from what I've read, it should be impossible for a machine with this hardware to run a 4K display, a 1080p display, and these other displays. Plus all the tech. With the bells and whistles turned on, it should not even be able to run them like properly. So I definitely think that there's some uh, graphics, certain features of the graphics not turned up, and you are getting a 10, you know, a 4K table, but you might not be getting all the bells and whistles that might make things even better. So again, gonna gonna slap a GTX uh, 40 or RTX 4060 graphic card in this thing in the near future. Going to put some RAM in, and I'm gonna buy somebody else's SSD, solid state disk for inside the computer. And it just so happens I found somebody that has gotten around the lock system of the Chinese uh, solid state drive. So they've added to that. So I should be able to hook it up into here, have all my controllers working in theory. So I found somebody that's going to remote in. It costs a little more. I mean, I'm going to probably, with the graphics card update and this other drive and having this person remote in and um, help me set everything up. They're, if they have to, they'll rebuild all my tables because they're very experienced with the VPX community stuff. Um, I will lose the software that's on here for the pinball FXs, but that's okay. But again, this thing runs so great, I'm just going to leave better, well enough alone for some time yet. I put memory in there that I had sitting in the basement, it didn't cost me anything. Uh, great machine. So here, I'll get into some visual displays. So right now we're in VPX. Uh, this is a Diablo table I really like, but let me try to find my favorite table. I think it's called the Getaway. Either going to be in the G's or the T's. There it is. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Absolutely awesome table right here. Granted, it doesn't have like that record music that you'll go with the ACDC tables. Some of the ACDC tables are pretty nice. Um, just be mindful that you check it out before having little ones around because some of these games do have some, uh, I would say, what do you say, dicey uh, imagery? Let's get this game going. Ready? Now this game was never had a pl uh, plunger on it. 
So my plunger's not going to do anything on this game. You have to hit the launch button. received a, a, a unit that had a non-functioning speaker. I let them know, we did some testing, they mailed me out the other speaker. So I've since put that in, it sounds great. I'm very happy with this purchase. So if you're on the fence, you know, either get off the, you know, get off the fence. If you don't want to spend 10 grand, you're not going to find a better deal for a better functioning machine out of the box without having to know what you're doing. I do have one recommendation. If you buy this machine, I wouldn't, it's okay probably to sit there and just use the power switch in the back to turn it on and off, but I did discover that there's a play field button inside the back here. So you locate the play field button. Let me see if I can get it. Looks like this. I had to pop it off the table. It took a little bit of the varnish off. But this little button here, if you press it, it'll shut the machine down like you would your computer if you hit the tap the power button. don't hold it because then you'll force shut it down you tap it wait for it to shut down your monitors will then go to sleep you flip the switch power switch on the other side I'm probably gonna mount this on the outside of the machine near the power switch so that I can go boom and here we go shutting down see how gentle what a shutdown this is this is what you probably want to do to make this machine last you for years and years and years and then you go to the other side, once everything goes to sleep, you, you flip the power switch off. Right now, the only reason it's still on is because the main power supply is keeping your LED lights and your fans running. So the computer doesn't power all that. 
this is for your computer. Turn that off. Typically, when I flip the switch back on, it, everything comes back on. If it don't, then you just take this button and press it once after turning it on, and it'll boot up. I'm going to go ahead and boot it back up. Give it a few seconds. See, that's booting up up there. And then it'll wake everything else up shortly. They went to sleep, but they'll come back to wake here very soon. There we go. Shake the hands. You can see it's 4K. Very cool machine, though. I know I just rambled on. Probably said some things inaccurately, but again, great machine, great performance. The only issues I found on any tables, and I've tested a lot of them, have been the tables themselves. I went and tried them on my laptop just to see and sure as heck I got a I got a gaming laptop it's got the 4060 uh, Ti graphics integrated to it it's got a uh, Ryzen 7 7700 so more than powerful enough to run all this stuff with all the bells and whistles and same same issues I found on this I found on my more powerful computer again that wouldn't work as a, a suitable replacement because you got to have a lot of video outputs so you got to have a computer um, there's really inherently nothing wrong with the i5 processor that's on this machine because a lot of these aren't super CPU heavy. If you decide you want to go 4K, 120 hertz and like really push that, it all falls to the GPU on that point. And that's where you want to stick with the NVIDIA brand is preferable. I mean, there's some good, good AMD uh, graphics, but stick with NVIDIA. Get an RTX 4060. A couple years ago, a 3060 or a 3070 would have been fine, but... You know what, the 4060 has less power draw than that 3060 or the 40, 3070 even, so you might as well just get the 4060 Ti and call it a day. Um, you know, the other ones are being rolled out before you know what the 4060 Ti is going to be replaced. So future proof, if you decide to do any upgrades and you decide to order a drive from someone, look it up. You can look at a, there's a guy who, uh, what does he say? He'll help you retrofit and he'll do it remotely. It's very easy, very straightforward. I'm probably going to do it soon, but I don't think I, I think I'm just going to build a whole new machine and have retrofit that. That way I can switch machines out if I decide to sell this. I'll just put this computer back in. Uh, but yeah, good machine. Very happy.